A magnifying glass is one type of optical instrument that allows us to increase the size of the object that is perceived by the eye. Now before we discuss the workings of the magnifying glass, let's examine how we can use the unaided or the naked eye to essentially magnify our objects. So what we mean by an unaided eye is an eye that does not have any type of corrective lens. Now when you wish to examine the fine detail found on some particular object, for example this marker, you take the object and you bring the object closer to the eye. So you decrease the distance between the object and the eye. Now notice the actual size of the object as I move the object from some far distance to some near distance does not actually increase. This object remains the same. But how exactly are we able to perceive more detail on the object? What exactly is magnified? What is increased? So to answer this question, let's look at diagram A and let's compare it to diagram B. In diagram A, our marker is found some far distance away. In diagram B, we move the marker closer to our unaided eye. So what exactly takes place when we move the object closer? So notice that the angle subtended by the eye given by theta is increased as we move the object from some far distance to some nearby distance. And this increase in the subtended angle essentially increases the height or the size of the image that is formed on the retina of the eye found in the back of the eyeball. So that is what increases the size of the image as perceived by the human eye. So once again, as you bring the object closer to the unaided eye, the angle subtended by the eye given by theta in this case begins to increase and this increase in turn increases the size of the image that appears on the retina of the eye. Now, the retina of the eye has a certain amount of area to it. And eventually, if the image becomes greater than the actual retina itself, that image will not appear focused. So, because of the finite size of the retina itself, it can only hold an image of a certain size. Now, the near point represents the largest image that can be formed on the retina that can still be seen very clearly. So basically, the near point is the minimum distance that we can bring our object and still see the object magnified and up close. If we increase, or actually if we decrease our distance to below the near point, the object will begin to blur essentially because our image becomes greater than the size of the retina itself. So that's how the unaided or the naked eye works. Now let's discuss the magnifying glass. So how does a magnifying glass work? So a magnifying glass allows us to place the object even closer to the eye, closer than the near point, thereby increasing the subtended angle and increasing our image size that falls onto the eye. So to see exactly what we mean by that, let's look at the following diagram. Diagram A, in which we're not using a magnifying glass and diagram B in which we have a magnifying glass. So this line is the principal axis. This is the unaided eye. So this is our object and the object is placed exactly at the near point of the eye. So the object distance is equal to the near point distance given by capital N. Now we define the angle theta as the angle that the ray subtends at the eye when the object is exactly at the near point of the eye given by N. So this ray of light essentially bounces off 
the topmost region of our object. Now, let's move on to diagram B, in which we're essentially taking our magnifying glass, which is a convex lens, and we're placing it right in front of the eye. So what exactly takes place in this diagram? So, what our magnifying glass allows us to do is it allows us to actually bring the object even closer than the near point. So now the distance from the lens to the object is given by DO and it's smaller than our image distance. So what the lens does is it essentially creates our virtual image that is magnified as shown and the image uh, is found exactly at the near point of our eye. So, this distance, the image distance from the lens to the image is equal to the near point that we spoke about in diagram A. And notice that our object is essentially magnified and that's exactly why the eye perceives our object as being magnified because this lens creates a virtual image behind the object as shown in this diagram and this virtual image is the image or the object that is perceived by the eye and that forms an image on the retina of the eye. So now we define the angle theta 1 or the angle theta prime as the angle that the ray subtends at the eye when the image and not the object is at the near point of the eye once again given by the same capital N. Now notice in this case we're taking the object and placing it before the focal point of our lens. So once again the convex lens of the magnifying glass creates a virtual image of the object behind the actual image as shown in this diagram. So the virtual image is behind our actual object. The eye perceives this virtual image as if it was the actual object and forms the final image on the retina of the eye. So that magnifies our object size. Now, uh, different magnifying glasses exist with different magnifications. Now let's define the magnification of our convex lens inside that magnifying glass. So, the magnification given by capital M is equal to angle prime theta prime divided by theta, where theta prime is this angle and theta is this angle, and usually this is greater than this. Now, we can also derive an equation for the magnification of a magnifying glass given by capital M in terms of the near point distance N and the focal length F of our convex lens of the magnifying glass. Now, although we're not going to derive these two equations, we're going to state them in the following lecture. So, let's suppose we have the following case where the object distance is less than the focal length of our lens. So, if the object distance is less than the focal length of the lens, the magnification of that lens at that particular point is equal to n divided by f plus 1 where n is the near point distance, f is the focal length of our glass. Now, if the object is placed at the focal length of our lens, at the focal point of the lens, then the equation becomes as follows, m is equal to n divided by f. 